What's up guys, this is Hot Diet 7 and RCT Gaming bringing you another video for you guys. I hope everybody's doing well out there, staying safe and healthy. Uh, keep trying to keep yourself safe guys because this keeps getting worse and worse and I don't want to see you guys uh, get sick so please take care as much as possible. Now I'm doing a video today on the X-Arcade uh, dual stick in this case is a stick that was I mentioned it many times before it was given to me by Aaron from Aaron Classic Gamer as a present uh, dude was running out of space and he needed something smaller so he just sent it over and I remember back then I had a ton of fun proof of this is all the video content that I made like four years or five years ago um, and a lot of the emulation stuff that I used to play back in the day, even played with Afro Soul, her son, and, and many other people, thanks to the X-Arcade. And for the longest time, it has been in storage, has been stored away, and I decided to do something to bring it, you know, up to the present, uh, modernize it a bit, uh, give it a bit more use. Since the X-Arcade is a type of a gadget controller that was done a long time ago because this is a very old stick it uses a kind of keyboard emulation for its controls all it did was all of its buttons were basically keyboard strokes and that would be translated into whatever game that you were trying to play now it served me well for many uh of those games, particularly uh, emulation, MAME, and emulators uh, on their own. It worked perfect. You could configure however you want it, but it was a bit limiting. And particularly the aspect of the two player side, which was a big issue because I could play two players uh, with MAME and stuff, but not with the newer games. Now, fast forward to the present. Um, here I am, and I know that a while back, uh, this little gadget right here, the zero lag USB converter or kit or whatever, uh, came out a long time ago, but I still hadn't had the chance to pick it up. I ordered it and I installed it and I'm gonna show you guys how it went. So check it out guys. The standard stuff, the standard X arcade that uh, was done way back in the day when it first came out, it only allowed for keyboard inputs, meaning that each and every one of these would translate into a key from the keyboard. Now, that is okay and well, and it worked very nicely with MAME and a lot of the emulators at the time, but for games, especially now the modern games, that require a different type of method, let's say like Street Fighter V's and some other newer games. Um, usually those work either with direct input or X input. So that's what we're gonna do. So at, at the very least, you know, my turning stick is not gonna be the only one able to play the newer emulation and front ends and stuff like that. So I'll be able to do this. And also as a bonus, I'll be able to have two players now because when this is installed, if it works properly, I will be able to use uh, both controller sides because the computer is going to recognize the X-Arcade as two Xbox controllers. So that's basically it. Now, going in here, you're going to see this is the board. And this part is going to go right here and in the inside of course and there's a couple of more cables here the reason why I need these cables is because right here in the back is where that board goes into and as you can see this one has a little bit more cut out than it should um, since this stick was given to me by a friend Aaron from Aaron Classic Gamer this is the original stick so of course the board that's inside is not like this actually hold on a second let me take this out there we go so this is the board uh, pretty simple now these are the connectors right here these two connectors are basically going to replace inside what these two guys are doing here 
So everything is going to be different. The grommet that comes included with it is to put it here, even though it's not probably going to fit as nicely as it would to other sticks because this one has parts of it eaten away. I'm guessing Aaron had a, a little uh, difficulty getting this to work, so he kind of chipped away at that. I really don't care as long as it works. That's what I'm interested in. And of course, this is the cable that's going to come out. As you can see, the connectors here, that's going to go down here to the board. Now, of course, these are the cables that are going to run from the XRK to the PC. So, yeah, everything is going to be set and ready to go. Let's go and do it. Okay, guys, so this right here, already disassembled. Uh, I recommend that you put a pedal or something underneath while you're working on it so it doesn't you know uh, put uh, any pressure on the joysticks and buttons and stuff like that this is basically what we need to get to uh, I'm gonna remove this board switch everything that's here and you can see those two parts right there which are the PS2 uh, connection the old connection I'm gonna replace it with this bad boy right here and yeah, then try to play some some games, some new games with it. So let's get to it. Yeah. 
Thank you.